Hey boys and girls, Mr. Beard here with your class recap for Tuesday, December 6. We started today with a reading strategy worksheet. I'm paraphrasing. So students came into class, picked up this worksheet, and got to work. And here it is. How do you take these long, wordy sentences that are full of all kinds of flowery modifiers, adjectives and adverbs, and condense it down to its gist, which you may remember from a vocab terminology as meaning its core or its essence. This long wordy sentence is basically saying he had a memorable face. That's all you got to do. Break it down to its most important parts and then write that on the line, write your own words in the line. So you'll need to, if you're not here, you'll need to go back to the makeup bin, which you can see here, and pick up the, it'll be in the tray, pick up the worksheet and go ahead and complete this. After that, we took some guided notes over Edgar Allan Poe, one of America's most important writers, one of the most important writers in literary history because he was a pioneer of so many genres, mystery, horror, uh, suspense, and detective fiction, things like Sherlock Holmes, uh, all the way up to modern detectives like Monk, uh, Psych, even CSI has roots in detective fiction, which he was a major pioneer of. As always, you can find this PowerPoint on our class website, under class notes. But let's go through it really quickly. Uh, Poe lived a very sad and tragic life. Uh, he was born in Boston, although he's most often associated with Baltimore. He was born in Boston to uh, traveling actors. Of course, led a tragic and unhappy life. It began with when his mother died when he was two years old, and his father deciding that he could not handle having a son and, and traveling around with his job, uh, abandoned him. Uh, luckily, he was adopted by Mr. and Mrs. John Allen. Unluckily, throughout his life, he would not be able to get along with his adoptive father. He studied briefly at the Virginia, uh, at Virginia University, University of Virginia, um, but mostly what he studied was drinking and gambling, and that got him uh, in academic trouble, and he dropped out of the University of Virginia. After dropping out, he joined the military, and his father actually got him an appointment at West Point, which is this prestigious military academy, probably the Harvard of, of military academies, um, but he decided it wasn't for him. The military life was not for him, so he dropped out, got himself in trouble, and got himself kicked out of West Point, which caused a final separation between Poe and his, or his uh, adoptive father. And here's where it gets weird. In 1836, he married his young cousin, Virginia Clem. She is not his third cousin, twice removed, not his second cousin, his first cousin, his first biological cousin, and she was 14 years old. Their relationship has been documented by scholars as being more of a, almost a friendship. Uh, you can see that in their letters and, and um, the letters of people who knew them. It was almost more of a friendship, more of a uh, brother-sister type of relationship than a hot, fiery, romantic one. But nonetheless, they loved each other very much and cared about each other very much. Uh, the last 12 years of his life, he worked as a journalist, editor, and creative writer. We think of him as his stories um, and his poems. But he was very well known at the time as being an editor and a literary cr crit um, critic. He was known as a literary critic and very respected for that. In 18, he lived in uh, poverty stricken conditions, and in 1846, his wife died after a long illness, who he loved very much, and which this affected him very deeply. And a lot of his poems and stories have a sad element to them because of this. He died in Baltimore after he was found in a drunken stupor. There's still a mystery as to how he died. He was found drunk on the street in someone else's clothes, and um, thus there's a mystery of how he died. But thank you for listening. That's the class recap for today.